Hello everyone. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, yeah, we're back on live again. Um, been busy, 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 busy. And uh, I just wanted to make this new video. I just was thinking about uh, these thoughts. Uh, I just got to put them on video. Uh, the title, you know, Keep Your Eyes on the Bigger Picture. No matter what, you know, that's, that's basically what's going on. You know, I developed pretty much five different types of steps that could actually help you with this. Um, uh, one, you know, kind of just go off this thing and, uh, it's temper control, control your temper. Now, watch where I'm going with this. Then you're going to need consistency, okay? All right. And then you're going to need to chill. Number three, you're going to chill. Daydream. Go ahead, chill. Daydream. You know? Think about your big picture so you can get motivated. You know? All right. We going in. Four. Um, you know, build a shield of armor that can protect you against uh, negativity. That's very important because people are going to try to tear you down. But once you go through all this building, they ain't going to be able to tear you down. You know what I mean? Then, guess what? Number five is whatever you're trying to do, whatever it is, I don't care if it's negative, positive, I don't care. If you want to get this thing done, you want to get it done. You got to practice and study. Practice and study. Now you got to remember all these other steps. It's very important to this because you're gonna have consistency. You're gonna have your armor. You know, practice your craft like crazy steroids. You did. All right. So here we go. We going in. We going in, gentlemen. Okay. Um, temper control. Temper control, I had to develop that when I was inside, man, I had, I was tried, tried, and tried all day long, but I knew I had to keep my eyes on the bigger pitch. I knew I had to do that. Um, at this point, I had served like, I did 17, 18, I forget, 17, 18 years, but at this point, I had did like I was in my 12th year, I think. And I knew I was getting closer because I was dropping down in levels. I went down to level three. And was that, uh, what's the facility? Uh, Mound. Mound facility, actually. <laughs> they closed it down now. But anyway, I always had money inside there because I was in the, um, my craft. No, it's not nothing illegal. I was doing my crap. Mostly leather work. You know it. You know it. You know it. Yeah, I did leather work, but I was the man. I was the man in leather work. I, we, um, our financial way we had to, to, um, to get our funds was you had to, um, because stamps, you know, your postage stamps, the, the, that was our currency, basically. Though that and cigarettes, I didn't mess with cigarettes, but I messed with stamps. You know why I mess with stamps? Because stamps, you can send them out, and you had some little a wrap that would give you a little discount on it. Like it's, I think the stamps will. Let's just say the stamps is thirty one cents. They give you twenty five cents on the stamp. Boom! You get your currency back in. So simple, but. Why am I saying this? I don't know. But listen. Um, so I had a lot of uh, food and anything I needed. And at this point, they had started bunking. So we had a bunk. The, the, the prison system had got so crowded, we had to um, have two in the room. And so... You don't know who you're going to get. You're just going to get anybody. You don't know their aura. You don't know that, what they believe in. I even had a, uh, not a Nazi, what you call a, a, a white supremacist. <laughs> he was my funky. 
You hear me? He's my bunkie. He told, we got to talking about it, though. He said he hated black people for some reason. They had beat him up when he was little or something. And it spawned from that. A lot of this hate is spawned from little tiny experiences. Of course, it's <laughs> motivated by the media and all of that type of thing. But anyway, this one particular bunkie that I had, it was a brother. Uh, he wasn't too bright in my eyes. I might not be too bright in your eyes. <laughs> so, But this brother was not bright at all. Okay. But he didn't have nobody, no money, no nothing. And, you know, I had, we used to cook up uh, these nacho dudes. Uh, like, uh, uh, that's what we cook. It was prison menu. It was good, though. Cheese, nacho, not good for you. Clog your heart up and all that. Now I know, understand all of that. But back then, I was eating real good according to prison status prison status <laughs> so uh yeah uh one morning um you know we getting up it's time to go to child and you know i'm leaving the room with my my um my, my um bath bag you got this bag you can take to the uh, we take uh to the bathroom it's the public bathroom we got like five sinks one quarter, five sinks and stuff. Oh, it's, it's four corners. But anyway, our corner, we have five sinks, two toilets, uh, two showers, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, everybody getting up, going to the bathroom with their stuff, brushing their teeth and blah, blah, blah. But I forgot my uh, toothpaste was out of my bag. I was out of toothpaste. I came back, right back. And this Negro had a mouthful of my Zoom 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 on. <laughs> Oh my God! Ah oh man, I, it's funny now. It's so funny. He was like looking at me, and I'm like, "Oh man, that's all my stuff." He just trying to gouge in his mouth because he's so hungry. I said, "Man, I now see right there, my temperature is going up." I'm like, but then I think of that bigger picture, man. I think of my family. I think of my moms. I think of my pops, who's now deceased. But I got a chance to talk to him before he got deceased when I was out. I got to uh, gotta think about my brother, my sister with her children. And they trying to make I got to think about that type of level of um, what I have to lose just in case I do get out. Right, so that's my first. That was my first encounter. I said just in case, at this point, because at that point I was like, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna get out, because I didn't, I hadn't developed this whole plan. I'm telling you, <laughs> I hadn't developed it yet, but it's developing from somewhere. I don't know, but I'm developing this goddamn five step thing, and so what I did was. I told the brother, I said, look, brother, I said, yeah, I want to fuck your ass up right now, but yeah, he was a little slow. I said, yeah, I said, man, you can have, I gave him a couple more bags. It was nacho. I gave him a couple more bags of nacho. You know, chomp on them motherfuckers, motherfucker. I didn't tell him about all. I could lose and all that. I said, if you're hungry, man, you can just ask me, man. I had a locker full of shit. I didn't know he was. I mean, we did eat. We cooked up every night. Every night we cooked up and shit. All you had to do was say, look, man, I'm still hungry. Dude, eat whatever you want. <laughs> this stuff don't mean nothing. It did mean something, but, you know. So, <laughs> wow, it was deep. So that was my first lesson that I recognized that I needed to develop more temperance. I needed to develop more uh, tolerance. I'm, it's not being, it's not going soft. It's definitely not going soft. No, 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 no. You, you guys tell me what I'm trying to say. You know exactly what I'm trying to say.